What's up guys, welcome to another Scratch tutorial. Today I am starting a new series on making a tank game. And in this game we are, are going to be making a tank game. Where we can shoot bullets. And we will have to face these enemy tanks that are just coming toward us. And upgrade our guns and stuff like that. So let's create a new project. So first, let's go into our backdrops, and we'll do a one green flag is clicked. Want to broadcast a message? So new message called "Wait to play." And go to backdrops, and we are going to pull. I have a backdrop for my backpack. It's, called, it's basically this. And over here, we're going to switch backdrop to backdrop 2. And let's name this to Wait to Play. Now, let's go and name this sprite Player Tank. And we'll call our project tank game so in our costumes I have a tank from my backpack it's like this and make sure not to draw the gun because that is in another sprite so let's create a new sprite call it gun and I also have a gun from my backpack it's this and I'm going to increase the size to 300% so the cost of one and yeah so let's first hide these sprites. Let's make a new sprite called play button. So here's a play button for my backpack. And we have our three sprites ready, so let's get coding. First, when the green flag is clicked, we want to go to, and we want to go to zero, zero, and we want to hide. And we want to say when I receive white to play, we are going to show. And we're going to say forever. Get an if else statement, and we're going to check if we're touching the mouse pointer. We're going to change our size by 120 divided by size. Minus size divided by 3. And then we're going to set our brightness effect to 30. Now let's duplicate that. But we'll change this to 100. Change this to 0. So now we press the green flag. It's basically doing this. So let's get an if statement inside the if statement of the if else statement. And we're going to say if mouse down, then we're going to broadcast a message called play game. So this message will basically allow the player to play the game. And we're going to, over here, let's wait until not mouse down and then we will do that. Because we will need to be shooting bullets at this game. So in our player, do a when the green flag is clicked. Of course, we want to hide, and we'll do a when I receive play game. We want to show. Next, let's get a forever loop. We want to say if key up arrow is pressed, then we are going to change our y by three, and let's duplicate that. This will be down arrow, and this will be negative 3. And duplicate those two ifs, and we'll change this to right, change this to left, but make sure to change this to change x. So this will be 3, and this will be negative 3. And we'll do in our play button, 
when I receive play game, you're going to hide and go to control and stop. Make sure to change that to stop other scripts and sprite. And let's make a new backdrop. First, let's duplicate this button, change this to play game. Just delete this text, and this is our backdrop. And in here, we're going to say in our gun sprite, when the green flag is clicked, hide when I receive play game, forever, go to player, player tank, and we want to make sure it goes to the front layer, so go to front layer. And we can put this over here. So now, uh, one thing we need to do is over here is switch to a uh, backdrop. So when I see this, we are going to switch backdrop to play game. So now we can move with the arrow keys. Oh, and one thing you need to put is a show here. So this time it does like that. And in our costume sprite, one thing you need to make sure is that the square or whatever uh, this piece right here needs to be centered. Because we need to make it to point towards mouse pointer, so like that. So now it will look like that. So now we want the player to shoot bullets. So let's make a new sprite. Call it bullets. And I have a sprite, uh, a costume from my backpack over here. I'm going to say when the green flag is clicked, hide. And we're going to say, in our play take, we want to say, when I receive play game, forever, if, mouse down, then we're going to create a clone of bullets. I'm going to wait 0 0.5 seconds. And we will change the 0 0.5 seconds later when we add, when when we add the upgrade gun stuff. When I start the clone, let's show. And we're going to get a repeat until loop. We're going to say repeat until touching edge. Move 10 steps. And after that, we're going to delete this clone. Under the one green flag is clicked, we're going to attach a forever loop and say forever. Go to gun and we want to go to back layer so now we can now shoot but as you can see it can only shoot at one direction which is not good so what we need to do is in this forever loop here let's point in direction and what we are going to do is get this block going to point direction Direction of gun. So now you can shoot based on the gun's direction. So now what we need to do is add WASD keys because some people use WASD keys. If key up arrow is pressed or key W. Then we will do that, and we need to do it for all of these. So we need to get an OR, if key down arrow is pressed, or key S, right over here, and let's actually duplicate this, and say if key right arrow is pressed, or key D, and take this out, and we'll say F key left arrow is pressed, or key A. So now we can use WASD keys and arrow keys to move. So that is exactly what we want.
So that was all for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and we did our player tank movement. We did our shooting mechanism, and we added the play button and the gun and stuff. So I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next scratch tutorial. Peace out.